Okay, so apologies, I did not expect this introductory scene to be quite so long. Hopefully it won't have us go through this again when I actually, like, you know, get into another screen or menu or whatever. Anyway, what's up, cool people? My name's Matt. Welcome to what I'm assuming will be a full playthrough over however many videos it takes of this game called Juju. Um, Odyssey feature, yeah, whatever. So... My understanding is that this is like a uh, platforming game. Otherwise, I'm not sure much needs to be said. Um, not really sure what these controls mean, other than, okay, A appears to be jump. Y looks like playing some kind of music or something. X might be a dash. Anyway. One of those two is like achievements, maybe one's a leaderboard. Anyway, I'm gonna actually get to play in this game. We'll see if I end up needing to move the location of my webcam within the scene. Once we really get rolling with this. So it seems to me that our main character here, like, kind of unintentionally let some evil spirit kind of thing out, which captured the the big 
bear, which I'm kind of assuming is like the dad of the main character. Or at least some family relation. And, um. I assume then it's our job to go. rescue the one that got captured and, you know, stop the villain type thing. Okay, I assume there's some reason that I'm collecting these butterfly crystal things. I just have no clue what that reason is. But I was definitely right about this being a platformer. Why? Okay, so why has you play some music? Which I assume is how you, like, interact with certain things. Okay, so certain enemies will get kind of sort of stunned by the music that we play. Oh. Okay. Big butterfly crystal thing is worth 10 normal ones, apparently. So I'm assuming each one of these little spots like this is literally a checkpoint. Like, it gives you a check mark, and... Oh, cool. So that gives me a way of getting rid of the crab dudes if I play music and stun them, and then... Aha! I wasn't sure if that was going to be a good or a bad thing if I went did something like that. Also, I apparently get more crystals as I defeat more enemies. Okay, so that's another way to get rid of the crabs, is by dashing at them like this. very much designed for kids, given that it tells you pretty much any time that you end up needing to play the music. And I say need, like, literally. Because, like, right now, that's just a time when I could. But I didn't really need to, so it didn't say anything about it right then. Hmm. 
Jeez. Lots of these crystals down here. I've got 224 of these things. And I'm not even all the way through the first level. Maybe this game keeps track of, like, scores and whatnot. It's kind of what it seemed like on the, uh, start menu. So... Perhaps this stuff is just... related to scoring slash leaderboard or whatever kind of stuff. Do I need to play music here? Oh, so I do need to actually catch them as they fall when that happens. Okay, and that was the first level. Wonder what these little token things are for. Hopefully it'll tell me that before too long. that just kind of like a, hey, you got this many, like, you got three out of three stars. Not sure what the hearts are all about, but okay. Oh, that's probably because I didn't get hit. Um, I don't know if I like the look of this guy. Well, I hit him. Nothing else over that way. Oh, jeez. I'm not sure why I didn't really end up being ready for the spikes there, because it was pretty obvious that they were there. something over here. Okay. So it was worth getting on top of those. Okay, I thought eventually those would go away. I just wasn't really sure when. simple game it seems, but uh, maybe we'll get maybe we'll get some more story after a little while here. Okay, so you do have to actually time when you press A in order to 
get a higher jump there. Instead of, you know, just holding it down or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, there's another crystal thing there, which I can't get going this way. get a feeling this stuff is eventually going to prove useful, I just don't know when or why yet. So the, like, attack button also serves as a quick little dash, you know, to, like, get past stuff. Cool, got all those. Nothing down below there, I would imagine. Some of the little dances of the, like, enemy-ish creatures here kind of amusing. Hello, there's a portal here. Where does this take me? So you have a limited amount of time to get as many crystals as you can, I guess. stuff together, you can get more of the butterfly crystals. Helpful information. Oh, and we're at the end of this level. Same thing. Then zero out of three for the portal. Is that just because, like, I 
I assume the zero out of three then is more of like a almost like a rating system of like how well you did within that portal level section thing. All right. Keep moving along here. So if I hit two of these guys with one dash attack, that does not count as something where I can like get a bonus multiplier thing going on. Well that's disappointing. Extra thing here, yeah. I would imagine I can't really go under the water. Ooh, hey. I got an extra heart, I guess. Cool. Out of sheer curiosity, though. No. If I'm not sure how to handle any of these enemies, I'm just gonna do that little thing where I uh, play some music, get him to dance, and then I'll attack them and or jump on them. Aha! Revealed a big crystal. Checkpoint. Oh, hello. Those things falling down like that seems awfully reminiscent of some uh, Sonic the Hedgehog games, if you ask me. There was a there was a particular level in oh jeez, trying to remember which game it was that I played that had that. One of the one of the old school Sonic games. Whoa, hello. Oh, so those only move whenever I like change sides. Hmm, I really do wonder about that. But I can't go back into it now. Whoa, that... See, that's why I wasn't too sure about doing that little dash attack there. But that's perfectly fine. Okay. That dash thing could be really helpful for anybody who might want to try and, like, speedrun this game.
Like, I could just imagine somebody doing that, like, everywhere. And that would, you know, probably get him through the game a little bit faster. Another heart. Jeez. Okay, I guess... I guess I'm at the maximum already. So instead of more health, it gave me a bunch of butterfly crystals. So, I think I actually want to fall down here. I wasn't sure for a second. Ooh, another portal. Interesting. So, did I miss some portals in the second level? This looks kind of familiar. Okay, if I fall down, that automatically ends my attempt. I wasn't totally sure if that was what happened last time or if it was more of a I just ran out of time right when that happened sort of thing. So yeah, I am not doing so great with these portal things, but whatever. Can't stay on that too long. Can't stay on any of these too long. go down here if there was nothing good that I could get from it. Oh, okay. Alright, let's try this portal thing. See if I do any better with it. Although it's a little bit doubtful. Hello. Really? I... Wasn't paying enough attention to that gap, I guess. So, even just first few levels, there's, you know, at least a little bit of something to keep you coming back with those portals and whatnot and trying to get as many of these like butterfly crystal things in each level as you can. Hold up, is there something like way up there? I can't get up there so never mind. I highly doubt it then. That's three levels down. So, yeah. 
changes. So there were three different portals in that level, which has me thinking that not only do you need to find all the portals, but you need to, like, complete, I guess, for lack of a better word. You need to, like, complete the portals and, you know, get all the crystals within those for it to count at all towards this. But anyway. Alright. I think that'll do it for, uh, episode one, so to speak. Okay, so that's gonna do it for episode one of Juju. Um, pretty simple platformer game. Um, also not like a really complicated story or anything like that. But hey, you know what? Simple doesn't necessarily mean bad. But anyway, as always, like and share if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell if you're on YouTube to get updates when I post new videos. Uh, you can give me a follow if you're on Rumble or like look down in the description for info on following any other other social media pages and any of that kind of stuff. Um, below there, you can leave comments with any thoughts you have or anything like that. So yeah, guess that'll do it for now. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully I'll see you for the next video. But until then, stay cool, people.